Brother, are you ready? Woo! That I'm giving, I'm giving. using my words to uplift mankind while I'm living. Just like in the beginning, I breathe life into every word, forming the matter I'm feeling. I'm thankful for every minute that I'm giving, using my words to uplift mankind while I'm living. Just like in the beginning, I breathe life into every word, forming the matter I'm feeling. It's a new day, a new way of looking at the world. Peace is gonna come once we start to learn. Yearn for understanding one another. Come journey with me. We more than sisters and brothers. We more like lovers. We compliment each other. So let's take a trip around the world and see the beauty of Mother Earth. The birthplace of all races, many nations. Beautiful artworks and many faiths. A world with no hate, only love and no faith. Cause people are inherently great. So let's live for the babies and maybe we can be able to put an abundance of food on everybody's table and maybe we take a minute to think about the positive things that positive thought brings that we would be able to see that the world is what you allow it to be so smile at the next person you see who's the opposite to race status color or creed that's how we make a change in the world in need but it's up to me if it is to be so let's keep spreading love to every person you see it will be now we make choices every day that affect other people and affect ourselves in the same way if you change your mind you can change your choices change your choices you can change your life every single day we should be thankful for waking up to see another day even though it's painful on the grind trying to be on time speeding through life but we gotta try to make this light but i got caught at the red light i stopped in traffic and checked my phone but instead i looked to my right i seen a man holding a sign who was less fortunate than i it read wwjd so i thought about all the things that he's done for me lately when I was naked, you clothed me. When I was sick, you visited. And when I was in prison, you beholded me. Verily, I say unto you, you done it to the least of these, my brethren. You done it to me. All of a sudden, I didn't even think. I told my brethren to get in. And the deed that I did that day will still remain unmentioned. I'm thankful for every minute that I'm giving. I'm using my words to uplift mankind while I'm living. Just like in the beginning, I breathe life into every word, forming the matter I'm feeling. I'm thankful for every minute that I'm giving. Using my words to uplift mankind while I'm living. Just like in the beginning, I breathe life into every word, forming the matter I'm feeling. I stayed in the house of a pastor in Africa. It was so embarrassing to me. I was so humbled by his, his fortitude and by his, his zeal. And he had seven churches. Seven churches. The average membership was 750. I preached at one church where there were thousand people. His smallest church had 650 members. And he rode from church to church on a bicycle. When I stayed in their home, they offered me the one, Lord help me, the one room in the house with a floor was their bedroom. And they insisted that I stay there. And this American preacher, this American preacher, knelt by the bed that night and wept like a baby that I have ever dared to complain. Ever complained. Ever complained.